Welcome or welcome back. My name is Corey if you're new here and I'm gonna skip the long intro. It's unnecessary right now. If you would like to know more about me, please watch the rest of my videos. Today I am going to be doing an update on my 12 week year plan. And if you don't know what a 12 week year is, I am going to do a brief, brief recap, but I will leave a card to my last video up here if you would like to know more, as well as additional info in the description. The short version is a 12 week year is essentially a time management system in which you shorten your goal setting for the entire calendar year into just 12 weeks so that you can focus on specific goals with specific tasks that you have to do to complete each goal. You wanna follow the SMART goal method but only focus on a, a small number of goals so that all of your attention is poured into those. You're kind of developing a roadmap of what you should be doing every day of every week in order to reach all of your goals, dreams, and desires and be able to move on to the next set. The grand idea is that the more focus you have and the less attached you are to creating this long list of all these goals that you need to complete in a long 12 month period then the more successful you are it is said that people that follow this method are able to complete a large percentage I don't know what it is right now off the top of my head but a large percentage more of their goals per year so in my last 12 week year video I walked through my entire 12 week year which I started on December 26th of 2022 I am currently in my fifth week and now I'm here today to do a four week recap I will go ahead and let the cat out of the bag um long story short according to the plan I set out I haven't been doing well and I was feeling really discouraged about it and I will show specifics about what's been going on however when I took a step back and paid attention to my overall progress for the three goals that I set I don't think I'm doing too bad. I'm a third of the way done. I have two thirds left. That's majority. I have so much time left. I think I'm doing a great job for what I said. At the end of reviewing the four weeks, I am going to show where I am in the progress so we can see how great or how terrible this 12 week year plan is going for me. If it's working, if it's trash, whatever. So without further ado, I'm going to get right into my 12 week year. I am looking down on my laptop, obviously you can see it on the big screen, but this is my 12 week year template. I imagine if you're looking at this video, you're either doing a 12 week year, are interested in doing one, or will be interested in doing one. So I do have this template linked in the description as well. This template was built by me on Notion. It is free, okay? You can't ever say I didn't give y'all nothing. Now. My 12 week year, like I said, started December 26th and the last day technically is the 19th, but I'm saying it's going into March 20th. I have my full 12 weeks listed out here and they're broken out into four weeks each just so that I know when I want to take a pause and really look at the progress and what I've been doing over the course of those few weeks. Inside of each week on the template, I've showed this before in my last video, but I have each of my goals listed out and then I have the tactics that I set to do to reach each goal underneath. I also have a section for notes so that I can write out what the issue was if I didn't complete something or what I did complete if the, if the tactic is pretty um, abstract. And then at the end of each week, I've been doing the same exact structure for the following week. Instead of me having these already built out for each week, typing it in each time or copy and pasting, whatever the case may be, but really taking a minute to look at each week and adjust things has been helpful for me as far as kind of like making myself excited about doing the things and the tasks that I have set out for myself. Works for me, I suggest it for you, whatever you want to do. Um, but let's just walk through each week. So the first week, overall, as you can see, based on the blue checks, I didn't do out. My goals for these 12 weeks are number one, to secure $15,000 in contracts. Um, these contracts would be from my work as a freelance graphic designer as well as brand partnerships and UGC. So um, my tactics under that were to build my branding agency's website and launch it. Um, that is a tactic that will take obviously most of the 12 weeks, but that's something that I want to consistently, consistently be working on every week. Um, reach out to three brands weekly, build the UGC portfolio, post branding work process on Instagram weekly, build out my rate structure for my work. I didn't do any of that that week. Um, I think I was overwhelmed and not overwhelmed in the sense of this was too much to do, but more so my following goal is something that I'm brand new to and that is YouTube. And so I did most of every tactic that was under the YouTube goal, which was to have 750 subscribers. I think I kind of focused too hard on one particular goal and that will be a trend throughout the four weeks, but let's get into it. So 
I apologize to goal one, but we didn't really deal with you in week one. But for goal two, I did most of everything. I uploaded twice a week. I did review my analytics so I could see like what on my channel was hitting and what wasn't and what do people want to see and like the type of comments people were leaving, stuff like that. I did post something about my YouTube to TikTok that week um, and I uploaded a short on YouTube. What I did not do was create a content plan or a schedule. Um, and I kind of just, that week, I kind of just was winging it about what I was going to record, edit, and post. And so, um, yeah, didn't do that. For goal number three, I want to recite a personal speech in French. Um, I was supposed to complete two Pimsleur lessons a day. Two a day. Those lessons are 30 minutes. So when I first wrote this, I'm going to keep it above. I don't know why I said that. Because I'm not trying to give up a whole hour to... to that type of thing. Unless it's an actual class that I'm going to, I can't see myself giving up an hour to this thing. I don't know, maybe in the future, but right off the bat, it just wasn't working out. So, but I did do two total that week, which is great because I went from doing zero to two. So I'm gonna take that as a win. I did not take any live lessons that week. Um, I did not memorize any sentence about myself. I thought like if I learned one sentence and mastered that one sentence, then by the end of the 12 weeks, I would have 12 sentences memorized at minimum. Did not do that. Um, and then watch French shows and movies at least twice a week. I did do that. On to week two, very similar blue checking, right? So I did work on my website this time. I did post to Instagram. I usually post my work and process and things like that in my story, so that's what I stuck to. I feel like posting directly on my Instagram takes a lot more work, so I just stuck to what I know. Um, I did not build a UGC portfolio, but I did add to this note to update my media kit because obviously my media kit is something I wasn't currently actively doing UGC, which is why I don't have um, a portfolio in the first place. But I do do brand partnerships, and so my media kit exists. It just needed to be updated because my numbers were lower on my current media kit than they are today. So obviously higher numbers will get me more deals, so that needed to be updated. So I added that note once I realized that that's something that I should be doing. Still did not build out my rate structure. YouTube, I was still on a roll. I did upload twice a week. I did review my analytics. I did upload to shorts. That was it. Um, for goal three with the French, I didn't do any lessons at all. I actually did absolutely nothing, but I did reflect. I realized I'm intimidated by um, live lessons because I don't really know much. I'm just scared to talk to somebody in a language that I don't even know. I don't even understand how that works. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I said I would catch up on learning, on memorizing this, my sentence about myself. And then for the French shows and movies, I realized that what's preventing me from actually watching the shows is that I don't have a list of shows or movies that I want to watch. So I needed to do that because sitting down and looking and then going to watch it, it was just too much for me. So at least, you know, but you know, only two weeks in. So I felt like that's what the first two weeks are for to get in the group of things, figuring out what works and what doesn't. Some trial and error. Week three, I started pouring a little bit more into my first goal. So I did work on my website. According to the note, I did not build my UGC portfolio just yet, but I did update my media kit. So great job. Um, and I did post to my Instagram story. For YouTube, I same thing, I did upload twice a week, I did review my analytics, I did upload YouTube Shorts. It seems that the issue that I'm really having is creating a content plan. At this point in time, by week three, I realized I'm getting overwhelmed by that because I have so many ideas and to sit down and take the time to plan it would take away from the time that I could be recording whatever is on my heart to record that day and edit and, and upload. And in retrospect, and in my right mind, I do realize that planning would make it much easier for me to actually create the content. Like my shooting schedule would probably be much more efficient. The time it takes for me to actually um, sit down and record these videos would probably be much more efficient because I would have some kind of outline and structure. Like right now I'm recording this off the top, out the blue. Not only that, but I'm recording this the day that I want to upload it. So like things like that, the, the plan would help me out. And so I acknowledge that and I will do better in the future. Um, I did upload to YouTube Shorts. Again, with the French, I am not doing well. I don't even have notes for this. I'm not, I just was not doing anything with this French. I don't know what it is. At the end of the day, that part is all about discipline. It's nothing else but my lack of discipline in that category. On to week four. And this is where I have reflected and I have, um, and you can kind of see them already. I have some updates on my progress so far. So last week I worked on my website. 
I did post to Instagram, so those helped me get toward my first goal. I did everything except the content plan on the YouTube goal and then nothing for French. Now the juicy part is my progress for each goal. For goal one, secure 15K in contracts by the end of the 12 weeks. Right now I have $3,800 signed in contracts, but I also have $1,750 in contracts out meaning i'm waiting for the contracts to come back to me wait this is wrong as i'm writing this this is wrong because i just can't i simply can't do math let me get a calculator first of all i'm missing a zero here this is wrong and the comma's in the wrong place let's 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 be real that's right okay <laughs> I'm looking at this like something seems off. Okay, I have 3,800 signed and $17,500 in contracts out. Contracts out means I am, the proposal has been sent, the rate has been approved, and I'm waiting for those contracts to come back to me. Right now, I am only considering that 3,800 as where I am at. However, I did want to note the 17,000 because those contracts will be signed this week or next, and that would put me well over my goal. And I still have over seven weeks left as of today. Day. Now those contracts are a combination of branding work and content creation and I say they're about 50-50. 10,000 of the contracts out are for a UGC contract and the remainder is for branding work. So posting work to my Instagram weekly as well as TikTok it did help me with that. Had I been reaching out to three brands weekly like I said I would, I'm sure that number would be much higher. And I do plan on doing that in the weeks moving forward. But just want to know my goal was met. And I don't think I have the wrong tactics listed. But I think all the tactics that I have listed here on this plan in general kind of um, all contributed in a way that I didn't imagine, if that makes sense. For my next goal, 750 YouTube subscribers. At the time that I am recording this, I currently have 824 subscribers. Obviously, up to uploading two times weekly and being consistent with that has helped me a lot. And I did get more engagement than I thought on those videos, so I'm very happy for that. The thing that helped me the most here was posting about my YouTube to TikTok. One thing I did learn about this is that TikTok is a great place to promote other platforms, particularly YouTube. That helped me tremendously, but then also I did post the same TikTok onto my Instagram where I already have a platform. Duh. I was just nervous about posting it on there, but of course that helped me a lot as well. And then with my French, now I think in total, and I'm, I don't think I noted all of these, but I think right now I'm at lesson number seven, which means I took six lessons over the past four weeks. And I do know some conversational French now. Very basic stuff, but I do know a little something. So I would say that I am at 10%, 10% greater than I was four weeks ago. Now, according to my specific goal of reciting a personal speech, not so much. However, I do think I would like to add on here why did my laptop just freeze in the middle of this while I was adding a new tactic? Is that a sign? For goal three, the tactic I would like to add here is to write out the speech in English. Because I think I mentioned doing that before, but why on earth would I not have a speech prepared that I want to learn in French? I'm not sure why that wasn't a tactic, right? So if I plan out what I wanna say in French, that's, I'm gonna add that there. So I think adding that will make this work out better for me. So that is the gist of where I'm at with my 12 week plan. I think moral of the story here is that the system is working. Is it working according to how I thought it would work? No, but I have been focused on just those three goals. As you can see, I've been going hard with the YouTube. I've been super consistent with that and that is my biggest win across the four weeks. I have started to make more progress with the, um, the goal of obtaining the 15K in contracts more than I was doing previously and then definitely on the side of French, I have not been doing anything prior to the 12 weeks, so even that little 10% progress that I did make, I'm very happy about it. At this point in reflection, I think I know the things that I need to do 
and set in place for myself in order to be more successful in the next eight weeks. So I'm excited. I hope that if you are doing a 12 week year plan and you're not doing so hot, I'm not starting over. So I don't think anyone else should. I think it is a journey and you're not going to hit every nail in the head every single week. So I'm sending a little encouragement to you to keep going. If you are interested in starting a 12 week year, I highly, highly recommend. As much as I have not been doing every single tactic on the list, I am very confident that my next four weeks will look much different now that I've gotten into some kind of rhythm. I am wishing more distance discipline on myself and I am seeing the progress which obviously will give me some sort of motivation to go find my discipline. So I highly recommend it if you are interested in doing one. The biggest lesson that I got here is that the, the specific plan and roadmap that I set might not be the exact thing that follows but it will put me on track to reach the goals that I want to reach and that is what really matters here. If you enjoyed this video you already know give it a thumbs up and comment and all that stuff. Let me know how your progress is going if you are doing a 12 week year plan now and I will see you in the next video as usual. Thank you to all 800 plus of you that have subscribed. That was really quick and I am so, so grateful. See you later.